So I'm reading a book called The World is Flat. Uh, this guy at the sushi bar recommended it for me. Who was it? Yeah, I'm the guy from the sushi bar. <laughs> I might have anger problems. All three of us got in trouble. Bren for vandalizing, me for the banana, and Doran for exploding computers. Oh boy. All is good for the PHTV kids. <sighs> what am I gonna do with these kids? Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to another episode of PHTV. I'm Bryn Jones. And I'm Karina Carrera, and we had no school last Monday, so we are going to try to catch you up on two weeks' worth of news. So sit back, sit back, relax, and listen up. To start off this Monday, we want to remind juniors and seniors the prom theme for this year is Casablanca, and, and evening in Morocco. 1940s. It will be on Saturday, April 14th at the Ashland Springs Hotel in, Ash in Ashland. If you would like to go but are concerned you can't afford the $20 tickets, go see Mr. Mrs. Robin in room in 412 this week about possible ways you can earn a ticket. There are limited ways to do so and it's on a first come, first serve basis. So see her ASAP. Para todos los juniors y seniors que quieren ir a prom pero piensan que no pueden pagar para un boleto, tienen oportunidades para obtener boletos gratis. Si quieres saber más, puedes hablar con la señora Robin en la clase N412. Speaking of prom, on Friday, March 16th from 4 to 6 p.m. in the PHS Little Gym, Miss Campbell will be hosting a valley-wide prom dress swap. Bring your previously worn dresses to swap and borrow from other girls in the valley or borrow from our PHS prom closet. Don't have a dress? No problem. You can still borrow one. By swapping and borrowing, you could potentially save yourselves or your parents hundreds of dollars. El viernes 16 de marzo de las 4 a 6 de la tarde, la señora Campbell va a tener un intercambio de vestidos para prom. Si no tienes vestidos para intercambiar, todavía puedes usar un vestido del closet de vestidos de la escuela. By attending, you will be entered to win an aw awesome prizes such as a 30-minute pre-prom photography session, gift cards for dinner, and certificates to get your hair makeup and hair makeup or nails done for free. Again, the date for the event is Friday, March 16th, from 4 to 6 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Campbell in room 6406. Al asistir, se inscribirá para ganar premios como una sesión de fotos de 30 minutos, tarjetas de regalo para la cena y certificados para arreglar tu cabello, maquillaje o uñas gratis. Speaking of reminders, this last week for Justice Williams, Miss Rogue Valley Companion, by two donate one toiletry drive bins will be placed at the front of the office labeled mascal donation where they can be dropped off or brought brought to justice williams directly seniors the phs local scholarship application is available now and is due by monday april 9th to the future planning center you can download the scholarship application from the phoenix high school website see miss house with questions another important reminder about scholarship is that the OSAC scholarship deadline. Our very own Nicholas Doran made a segment for you. Let's roll it. Hey seniors. The OSAC scholarship deadline is only three short days away. The OSAC scholarship is open to any seniors planning on going to college next year. Whether it is a four-year university or community college, in-state or out-of-state, if you would like help with your application, please visit the Future Planning Center. A little fun.
fun this coming upcoming week is Dr. Seuss Day, Friday, March 2nd, here at PHS. You dress up like any Dr. Seuss character. Everyone can do it. Also, it helps with spirit points, and there will be prizes for the best outfit. So dress up and show your school your spirit this Friday for Dr. Seuss Day. La próxima semana será el día de Dr. Seuss. El 2 de marzo aquí en PHS te vistes como cualquier personaje de Dr. Seuss. Todos pueden hacerlo, también ayuda con puntos de espiritual. Y habrá un premio para el mejor disfraz, así que muestre tu espíritu escolar. Another good reminder coming up if you are 10th, 11th, or 12th grader interested in applying for My Future, My Choice, you can get an application in the library starting February 12th. They must be turned in by Tuesday, the uh, February 27th, by 4 in the library. Si eres un alumno del grado 10, 11, o 12 y estás interesado en solicitar en My Future, My Choice, puedes obtener una aplicación en la biblioteca a partir del 12 de febrero. Debes devolver antes del martes 27 de febrero a las 4 en la biblioteca. Also, any returning My Future Choice member must let Brenda in the library know by February 27th that you want to return this year and attend the March 8th through 9th training. All applications must be passing all classes with a C or better. Además, cualquier miembro que regrese de My Future, My Choice debe informar a Brenda en la biblioteca antes del 27 de febrero que se desea regresar este año y asistir el entrenamiento del 8 al 9 de marzo. Todos los solicitantes deben pasar todas las clases con una C o mejor. Speaking about the community, if you need community service hours and like gardening, um, then come check out Garden Club. Garden Club will be meeting after school every Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30. Another way to get involved in the school is our spring assembly dance-off. The teacher and teachers and seniors who signed up for the spring assembly dance-off lip sync are calling out the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to step up and join in. Sign up with this week in Miss Robin's room N412. Get details from Miss Robin. Another fun activity for students to be on the lookout for our spring our spring and choir concert. The PHS choir and band concert will be two weeks from t Thursday on this Thursday, March 8th. The concert will begin at 6.30 p.m. Be sure to come out and support our great band students. Speaking of great students, here at Phoenix High School, we have our own Student of the Month for the month of January. To appreciate their good work, Will and Athey made a segment. Let's roll it. Freshman, Tristan Norris, Delaney Parent, Sophomores, Colt Morris, Sienna Bauer, Juniors, Wyatt Thorpe, Abigail Humphreys, Seniors, Mason Copeland, Willow Taus, congrats to all students of the month. Just a reminder that statements have been going home on a regular basis to let your parents and yourself know the balance on your account for your class and athletics athletic fees. Seniors, we would like to have all balances paid off by May 25th. You will not be able to walk uh, at graduation or join the rest of your class at grad night if you're not paid. If you are a freshman, sophomore, or junior, please take care of paying off by the end of each year so you can avoid the high cost of fees. Thank you. Turning now to sports news, an announcement from Mr. Cornett. Today, February 26th, is the first day of track and field. Everyone should come dressed for practice and dress warm. 
Everyone will meet in the weight room to start practices. At later days, everyone will meet at the football stands. While we're on the topic of sports, spring sports are starting up today. Our very own Dario De Los Santos made a segment for you to be ready for the first day of practice today. Let's see it. Now to recap the end of winter sports. Tuesday the 13th, our boys basketball team were at home fighting a long hard game but lost to Mazama 41-69. But then on Friday, our boys were home against Klamasov with a score of 58-53. Great win to end the season, boys. Our girls basketball team also played on Tuesday the 13th and had a game at home against Mazama but lost in a hard, fo lost in a hard fight competition. But then on Friday, the 16th, our girls pulled it together after a long, tough game and won by a score of 43 to 42. Amazing job, girls, ending the season with a win over Klamath Union. Finally, the unified basketball action. The Phoenix unified basketball team wrapped up their season last Tuesday. The unified team lost a close game by, to Crater High School before winning a nail-biter by two points over South Medford. To finish the season with a win, congratu congratulations to the unified basketball team for their in-girl season. In wrestling news, Emma Truex repeated a state champion again. Uh, nine other wrestlers took part in the state championship matches on Friday the 16th, but were eliminated from e action Friday. Phoenix finished with a total of 15 points in the two-day meet. Great job wrestling this season. And finally, in swimming action, Phoenix High School's very own Alex Shepard placed fifth at the state swimming competition two weeks ago up at Greshman Community College. Great job to all our pirate swimmers on a tremendous season. One last reminder on the day, advisors, advisor reps, please remember there will be a meeting next Monday, March 5th, during advisory to train you for your visit to the middle school to talk to the eighth graders. Okay, that sums up for our show for today. Only thing left is trivia. Last week's question was, when is the valley-wide dress-up? And the winner is... Samantha Lowe in Miss Hansen's room. She said March 16th. Well, congratulations. See Mr. Rhodes after advisory to get your Dutch Rose gift card. This week's trivia question is... When is Dr. Seuss Day? Make sure to write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Maybe next week you will, be the, you will win the Dutch Bros gift card. La pregunta de trivia de esta semana es cuando es el intercambio de vestidos. Asegúrense de escribir tu respuesta en un peda uh, pedazo de papel junto con tu nombre y el nombre de tu consejero y ponlo dentro del sobre que está en la... Puerta de la, del señor Rhodes. Tal vez la próxima semana tú te puedas uh, ganar una tarjeta de regalo de Dutch Bros. Be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show and always check out our online platform, phtvnews.com. Have a great week, Phoenix High School. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.